Now I've used some frozen kale. Uh, I find it really convenient. Um, it's always on hand. I don't have to like consume everything um, as soon as possible. So anyway, we're gonna make kale crisps. The downside of having frozen is that uh, it might be a bit too moist. You're supposed to have the kale as dry as possible, but we'll see how it turns out. I'm gonna mix in some cane pepper. I've got some dried lemon pepper. It's really tasty, really adds some interesting taste to it. I'm kind of playing around over here, so I've got no idea how it's gonna turn out. But some garlic powder. Really being careful since I'm doing it single handedly and not to overdo it. Some nutritional yeast or nooch. And it's completely optional from a health point of view, but. I also add some sugar, it gives it a nice uh, kind of like that Chinese seaweed, um, if you ever had it, it's actually cabbage. Now the good thing about having frozen and having some, um, a bit, having the kale a bit moist is that since it, this is an oil free recipe then the mixture sticks to the kale itself. Mix it well. I'm gonna add some salt, although it's optional from a health point of view, but especially for new vegans, um, do uh, it's better to add some salt to eat your veg rather than not adding any salt and not eating any veg and then feeling, you know, not, not being healthy. So I've added some salt for the sake of veganuary and Mexican. So I've spread the kale out as much as possible tends to clump up, especially because it's moist. Uh, the looser it is, the more likely it is to crisp up and be, get more flavor and taste better and everything. Um, the only thing I'd say is that obviously use a clean uh, baking sheet. I just couldn't be bothered and that's why I'm using uh, one which I had already used before. Then we'll just pop this into a preheated oven. Preheat your oven at 170 Celsius, degrees Celsius. I don't know how much that is in Fahrenheit, but anyway, you can figure it out. Just Google it. I used the convection oven. If you have one, I'd suggest to use it. It kind of dries out the cane more evenly. So obviously you can make much more than this, but I've only put in the usual portion that I have of kale every day. So that's why there's such little but crispiness came fine, flavor came fine, you should try it out, I mean, it's not what you have to do if you're vegan, but it's something that, you know, it's fun, interesting, tasty, why not try something else, you know, it's just another recipe.